and seven. The world is what? I can wear pants as a woman. The world says, look, as a man, I can wear a dress. I don't even have to be a man no more. I can just be a woman. The world says I can smoke marijuana. That's what the world says. But God doesn't say that. God says stop smoking weed. God says honor my Sabbath day and keep it holy. do you have to stop the violence in the black community sister? You seem like a bright sister. What type of solutions do you have to help to bring violence to zero in the black community? What about you, bro? Nation of Islam, brother. What about you? Okay. We got it? Okay. At some point, me and you, we gonna deal and talk a little bit more at an appointed time, though. So, we got it. Give me, uh, give me... First John chapter 2 verse 15. Because one thing we got to realize, today is the Lord's Sabbath. And the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the children of Israel. Today is the Lord's Sabbath. Today is a day where we're not supposed to be partying like we're doing in the African Fest. There's no buying or selling. That's one of the main reasons why there's a lot of violence going on in the community. Because we don't want to hear what God has to say. We don't want to do what God says to do. Did you know also in the Bible it says men are not supposed to shave their beard? Did you also know that in the Bible it says that the women aren't supposed to wear pants? Did you also know when you do the opposite of what God says, that is called sin? And did you know that the payment for sin is death? So that's another reason why there's a lot of people that's going to die today. By the end of the night, when you look at the news, it's going to be record numbers of us getting put to death. Why? Because we don't want to listen to what God says. Read. Book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 15. Love not the world. God says love not the world. The world is the African fest. The world is... What? Going and breaking God's Sabbath and buying and selling. The world is what? I can wear pants as a woman. The world says, look, as a man, I can wear a dress. I don't even have to be a man no more. I can just be a woman. The world says, I can smoke marijuana. That's what the world says. But God doesn't say that. God says, stop smoking weed. God says, honor my Sabbath day and keep it holy. Read it again. Love not the world, mm -hmm. neither the things that are in the world. He said neither of the things that are in the world. Because you know what the problem is? We think we are free. We're not free. This is still the land of our captivity. Because if you were so-called free, why do you pay taxes? Why do you pay taxes on the land that your foremothers and forefathers built by their blood? None of y'all are free. This African fest is just something to pacify you to keep you quiet. Because guess what? In Florida and Arkansas, they're making it illegal for you to teach African American history. Did you know that? What are you doing about it? Oh, let me guess, you're gonna vote for Joe Biden. But guess what? That's not gonna help you. Politics is never going to help you so-called black man and black woman. Read it again because it is a way of the world. Read. Love not the world. None of the things that are in the world. The political system is the way of the world. The political system is things that is in the world. The political system did give you reparations for the, for the free wages that you was not paid. You built this country. You built this country, you get nothing for it. All you get is a, hey, you know what? Go vote for me. And you know what? When Fred Hampton, when he was in his teens, he had a lot more dignity than a lot of our men today. Because I asked a simple question to the black man out here. What solutions do you have to stop the violence in our community? Because guess what? At Dunbar yesterday, it was over 30 kids fighting each other. What are you going to tell those young men and young women to not do? To not fight and hate one another? 
But I got a solution. Give me that in Leviticus chapter 19. The Bible has all the solutions. We have to come back to our operating system. Our operating system, our manuscripts, which is the Bible. And we have to do what God says. Because any parent, when you don't listen to your parents, you get judged. The parent puts you on punishment. And that's what God is doing to his children. Because you don't want to listen. Here's a solution that you can tell those kids at Dunbar that they won't have to fight and kill one another. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So that's a solution you can go tell the kids at Dunbar. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Read on. And in any wise, rebuke thy neighbor. And you're supposed to correct your neighbor when he's doing wrong. But a lot of you men, y'all stay mute when you see crime going on in your neighborhood. Some of your nieces and nephews and sons is out here doing all this murdering. And you're not doing anything about it. You're harboring criminals in your own homes. But we say, you know what? We don't care about snitching. We're going to snitch on our people when we see them doing wrong. If I see anybody out here selling drugs, I'm telling on you. If I see anybody out here raping one of my sisters, I'm telling on you. If I see anybody out here with a gun trying to shoot my brothers and sisters, I'm telling on you. Read it again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. We're not supposed to allow you to continue on in your bad behavior. That's what sin is. That's bad behavior. Today is the Sabbath day, the Lord's Sabbath day. If you really want to come against this system, how about you don't buy and sell for one day? Guess what's going to happen to this economy? It's going to crumble. But a lot of y'all don't care. All you want to do is just do for self and have a good time and just chill. Hey, I'm good. As long as my kids go to college, I'm fine. Did you know that this record, these, these record executives is poisoning our kids' minds by giving them rappers such as Sexy Red and Sukiyani? How y'all gonna honor a rapper by the name of Sexy Red talk about my coochie beak and my booty hole brown? That is madness. How did our women get so low? Then you got these young brothers talking about I'm switching you up with a clock. And they making money off of this. And some of y'all listen to this madness. Some of y'all tune in to WGCI 92.3 and you are in support of this destructive music that is killing our people. What solutions you got to help stop the violence in our community, bro? So, do, what, what solution do you have to help stop the violence in our community? This don't work. This ain't gonna work. Okay, so what will work? Okay. 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 They ain't trying to hear that. So did that work for the Black Panthers? Did it work for the Black Panthers? When they came out on the streets to talk their people? No, it didn't work for the nation. It's not the way y'all tried to do it, right? We went to the house. We went to the people's world. Okay. We talked to the mothers and the fathers. What organization are you with? I'm a Muslim. Bro. You're a Muslim? What organization are you with? Now, what organization? So what are you doing to go into communities to help stop the violence? What am I doing? Personally? Yes. Personally. I own three different organizations. Okay. <laughs> What's that? Maybe we can maybe we can link up and build, bro. You can't, you can't, yeah, just like Okay, understood. Three, uh, give me, um, give me, uh, John again. First John, read that again. The book of First John, chapter two and verse fifteen. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Because the so-called black man, so-called Native American man, and the so-called Latino man, we are the Israelites. We are not Muslims. We are not Muslims. Because when you went and your forefathers got took it in the sub-Saharan slave trade, that's how you became Muslims. When the Arabs took your foremothers and forefathers and subjected them to that, that, that ideology. Because we are out here trying to put a seed in the minds of our people to get them to just ask a question. Why do we go through these things? Why is all this stuff always happening to us? It's why? Because we don't want to obey what God says. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in you. That's why you don't want to build with us. Because the love of the Father...
Father is not in you. So go back in there and finish breaking the Lord's Sabbath day. And guess what's going to happen? Judgment is coming behind that. That's why we are, we are here to try to save you from that. Because at one point, a lot of us didn't believe in this Bible. But we got to realize we got to stop switching each other up. You understand that, young brothers? We got to stop killing each other. Because you, young man, is the most powerful thing on this earth. That's right. But you're doing the bidding of your enemy by killing your own brother. That's right. You're doing the bidding of your enemy that did this to you, that put you in slavery. You are autopilot. You know what our young black brothers is today? They black white supremacists. They might as well just put on a hood on their head and say, I'm KKK. And a lot of you women, y'all kick the man out of the household and you raise these young boys up to be murderers. That's Bible prophecy too. Give me that in Isaiah chapter 3. Y'all got to understand that this white man, he is our enemy. Whether you like it or not, you got to come out of those ways. Read it. Look at Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. As for my children, as for my people, children are their oppressors. So you so-called blacks, your children oppress you in your neighborhood. Your children is what's carjacking you, robbing you. When you turn on the news, that's what's going on. 13, 14, you are how they getting all these guns? How are our children getting these guns? I hope this African press is coming up with some solutions to stop the guns in our community because I see a lot of our people up in there. Read it again. As for my people, children are their oppressors. Uh -huh. And women. And who? And women. And women rule over them. That's called single family household. That's called women are raising the children on their own. And a lot of the women, y'all are in agreement with what your sons are doing. Some of y'all tell them to have girlfriends to come over. Some of y'all smoke weed with your sons. Some of y'all know your sons is out here killing and destroying the neighborhood and you do nothing about it. But when he died, you put up a picture saying, oh, this is my baby when he was in eighth grade. No, that's not your baby. Your baby is a demon. The black man got to stand up. The black man got to stand in the gap and take his rightful place and be the gods of this earth again. That's right. That's what got to happen. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. We're going to come straight out of the Bible and teach you, thus says the Lord, whether you want to hear or not. Read that. 13 and verse 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child. Read. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But... When I became a man, I put away childish things. It's time for the men to put away childish things. Stop letting your woman rule over you in the household. Tell her to be quiet and follow your lead. How about that? Because if you don't do that, that is a childish way. Read. When I was a child, I speak as a child. Because a lot of us spoke as a child at one point. But some, somebody gonna have to stand up and come against this wickedness that's going on in the city of Chicago in our community. What solution do you have to stop the violence in our community, sister? I know you got some type of solution. What solution you got, sis? You've been on this earth for, hey, you've been on this earth for quite some time. What solutions you got, sis? Read it again. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. So putting away childish things is what we're doing today. We're coming out here calling out the wickedness of our people. We telling y'all, look, keep God's laws, repent, or guess what? You're going to perish. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.